Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear parents. And good morning, dear students. Today, we have another New Vision International School online class. I am Teacher Larni, and I will be teaching the KG1. Our subject is math, and the lesson for today is the size shortest. At the end of this lesson, you students are expected to define the meaning of shortest and identify the shortest object in each set of pictures. Okay, KGs, are you ready? Materials, please bring out your rainbow math book as well as your pencils. Don KGs. If you are ready, let's proceed on with our lesson. Before we move on, let's review our previous lesson. Let's compare objects by size. First, I want you to identify the tallest in each set of pictures. Let us circle the tallest in each set of pictures. Remember last week, we discussed the size tallest. And I told you that tallest has the greatest height. Okay? Are you ready? Let's start with this one. In this set of giraffes, first picture, yes, are you all here? In this set of giraffes, which is the tallest. Let's circle them. Will it be this one? No. Or this one? Yes, cages. This one is the tallest giraffe. Did you get it? What about this next set of trees? Which is the tallest tree? Can you point it out? Well done. This is the tallest tree. Good job, cages. Let's see for this next set of pictures. It's a picture of a boy. I want you to point out where is the tallest boy. Ready? Okay, shall we circle the tallest? Okay, well done. This is the tallest boy. Next set is a set of buildings. Wow, where is the tallest building? I'll give you time. Point it out, please. Well done. This is the tallest building. Next one is a set of ladders. Which ladder is the tallest? Point it out, please. Okay, this one is the tallest ladder. The last set is a set of poles. Okay, which could be the tallest pole? Where is the tallest pole in here? Okay, good job, cages. I know you pointed all the correct answers today. So that is the review on the size tallest. What we circled here today, cages, are the objects in each set which are the tallest. Say tallest. Okay, cages. Good job. Everybody deserves a good job. Now, I want you to look at these animals. I will be introducing to you another term aside from the word tallest. Look at these animals, please. Okay, let's name these animals. They're all birds, okay. This is a chicken. Say chicken. This is, what's this, KG? It's a peacock. Peacock. And the last one is a, look at this. It's an ostrich. Very good. It's a very, 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 very tall ostrich. Cages, 
I need your attention, please. This arrow is pointing to the ostrich. Very good. And from the size of the ostrich, we can say among these three, the ostrich is the tallest. Very good. Okay. The ostrich is the tallest. And what could be the opposite of the tallest? If there is the tallest, we also have the do you, do you get the lesson now, KGs? Are you getting on with the lesson? Okay, look at this animal that I will be pointing next. Oh, I'm pointing to the chicken or it could be a hen. Yes, the chicken. The arrow is pointing to the chicken. If ostrich is the tallest, what could be the chicken? What could be the comparison of the size of the chicken? This chicken would be the shortest. Very good, KGs. Our lesson is shortest. So among these three animals, the chicken is the shortest. And that is also our lesson for today. The opposite of this tallest is shortest say shortest very good okay before we discuss the tallest the greatest in height now we will discuss shortest okay the least in height or the smallest it could be the smallest part but this time when we're talking about height we say shortest say shortest okay to give you more to explain more about the shortest let's have this one i have another set of animals let's name these animals this is a giraffe say giraffe this is a bear and this is a camel very good look at this one First arrow is pointing to a giraffe. When we talk about the height of the giraffe or the size of the giraffe, the giraffe would be the tallest. Very good. And which one could be the shortest? Our lesson for today's shortest. Which among the camel and the bear to have the shortest size. Look, the arrow is pointing to the bear. Yes, cages, the bear is the shortest among these animals. Okay, cages, do you get the lesson now? Now, this time, I'm giving you three sets of objects and I want you to circle the shortest object in each set. Are you ready? Can you do it with the teacher? First, as a set of fan. Okay? Which object is the shortest? One, two, three, point. Well done, KGs. This is the shortest fan. Next one. Which is the shortest cup? Ready? One, two three well done okay the last one which is the shortest mop or that could be a broom okay which one is the shortest one two three well done cages i know you nailed it i know you know all of this shortest object that we have here in each set we have another set are you ready, KGs? First, trees. Which is the shortest tree in this object, in this set? One, two, three. Well done. This is the shortest tree. Ladder. Ready? One, two, three. Well done. And the last one is a giraffe, a set of giraffes. 
Okay, which is the shortest giraffe? One, two, three. Okay, well done, Kages. Okay, did you get it? Did you learn about what do we mean when we say shortest? Okay, shortest, it means the least in height. Okay? Very good. Yes, well done. Now, I want you to get your rainbow math book and open it on page 26. We will do our class work for today. Are you all on this page? Yes, KGs. I will read to you the instruction. Let's circle the shortest in each row. Which among these objects are the shortest in each row? Are you ready, KGs? Okay, let's do this first one. Let's circle them. Which is the shortest? Very good. What about in this one? In, in, in this row? In this row? Which is the shortest? Well done. And then the last row? Which could be the shortest, Lamb? Okay, well done. Yes, KGs? Okay, reminder again, parents. After your child finishes the classwork, kindly take a picture of the pages that they answered and their parents kindly send it to the WhatsApp group for the KG1. And um, I will be expecting them all on Thursday. Okay, KGs, dear parents, thank you very much for listening and I hope you learned our lesson today, which is shortest. Okay, see you again next time. Have a nice day.